Um, another thing that the sum of the roots and product of the roots can be used for is to find the actual um, equation of the quadratic. Now, we know um, two things. A monic, and this question did suggest monic, a monic quadratic could always be written in the format um, x minus alpha, x minus beta, where alpha and beta are the roots, which is what you're given here in this question. Or also keep in mind that it could be written as x squared plus b on a, x plus c on a. That's when we've got it in a format such that it is not monic. So we multiplying through by a, we end up with um, something other than 1 as the coefficient of a squared. So back to this question, find the monic quadratic equation, so monic, we could use this format, whose uh, uh, roots are, so we 2 and minus 5, alpha is 2, beta is minus 5, then we could simply say we've got x minus 2, x plus 5. Or I suppose we could write it in this format. y is e Or we could expand that out. Oh, sorry, that should be x plus 5. Now, when you expand that out, you should get x squared minus b on a, oh we actually, no, we'll have to expand it out, x squared minus 2x um, plus 5x minus 10, we get y is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10. Now, have we got that um, b on a is the sum of the roots? Yes, 2 minus 5 is mi minus the sum of the roots, minus 3. And c, which is minus 10, uh, is the product of the roots. Ten, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. In example B, again, we're given roots in this format and we could simply sub them into the formula, uh, into the highlighted formula up here, but it's going to look a little bit messy. I guess another thing I could do is let's do the sum of the roots. So let this one be alpha and this one be beta. The sum of the roots is 3 minus root 2 plus 3 plus root 2. The sum of the roots is actually 6. And the product of the roots is equal to 3 minus root 2, 3 plus root 2. That's sum and difference. 3, 3 is a 9. Minus 2 is 7. How does that fit? It fits such that we had um, now using the other format that we had for our quadratic, which was um, that y could be written as x squared minus the sum of the roots in front of the x plus the product of the roots at the end. We can use those values we've just um, found in this case and we can write therefore y is equal to x squared minus the sum minus 6x plus the product plus 7. So we've got the equation. So you can see from each one of those variations of 
how, of writing the um, equation in terms of the roots, how you can actually create the equation for a quadratic. Uh, I will stop the video there and do the next example in another video.